you might be in a position where you want to activate your eSIM on your iPhone. Now maybe you bought an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 14 or one of the newer iPhones that are going to be coming out. Doing this is very, very basic, but you need to make sure that you have a SIM, you have a, like a cell service already provided that has the ability of using eSIM. All the major ones can do it. I think pretty much most of them will be able to do it very soon since Apple transitioned. So keep that in mind. You will have to be able to utilize an eSIM and you can't really put your regular SIM card in your phone. So to get it started on your iPhone, what I would recommend doing is making your way over to your you know, settings application here. And you want to click on the cellular button or the cellular option, which is right at the bottom. Now here you're going to be able to come into this panel. And what we want to do is we want to click on the setup cellular. Now, if you are familiar with eSIM, again, it's an electronic SIM card, so there's no physical thing we use. The way we go ahead and transfer our SIM card now is by either using a QR code or by you can transfer from a nearby iPhone. So if you have an iPhone that you already used, so let's say I was using this specific iPhone XS Max that I have right here, and it has a SIM card installed, as long as my carrier has it set up, I can go and click on here. And as long as my SIM card is installed on my other iPhone and it has, you know, my, you know, iCloud account and everything like that too, then my 10S Max should be good to go. And I can go and convert my, you know, SIM card from here as long as I have my passcode protected, but it's unlocked and my Bluetooth and all that stuff. Well, you can go and transfer it. Now, if you're coming from another phone or if you don't want to do it that way, you can click use QR code. Now, this is what you're going to have to basically get from your cell provider. You will have to contact them. You can email them. You can call them. You may, you can go in person if you want to, but that's going to take a long time. And then you want to go ahead and get that QR code. So what's going to happen is once you get that QR code, they're going to send it to you. It's going to look something like this. So it's not going to be this exact one. I found this on the internet. And what you want to do is you want to go and hover that QR code over your device like this. And you want to scan that QR code just like this. Now, it's probably not going to work as you, as you can tell, it doesn't really work. It's not a good SIM card. But you can also go ahead and let's say the you know, QR code doesn't work. You can go and input the information manually by clicking enter details manually. Now, if you're not familiar with any of this information, again, this is when you contact your cell provider. This is when you contact Verizon or you contact AT&T and you ask them, hey, you know, I'm converting my thing to SIM card or eSIM. Can you give me this information? And all they have to do is either send you the QR code, which you have here, or send you that specific, you know, phone, the, the, this information. And that is all you have to do. At this point, it is very basic and that's it. It's super easy process. Again, it's not a crazy big deal. It is kind of an annoyance, but as long as you can get this QR code or you can get that information, then you can activate that SIM card and that's really all you have to do. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.